The next part of your assignment is to actually identify all of the energy transfers and transformations on your planning documents. So on this document here. And the easiest way for you to do this is to look at when the object either moves or drops. So in any way that it changes position or when it changes shape, if that happens. So I've gone along here and I've identified every time my object has either moved along a ramp, has dropped or changed position. It doesn't really change shape because I'm using a marble here. But each one of these we actually have to number. And then you have to get together and see if you can figure out what changes it's had in its energy transfer. So for each one of these trans, uh, transformations or transfers, we've got to think what's actually happening at the time. In this number one here, my marble or ball, whatever it is, is moving. So we all know that moving energy, motion energy, is a type of kinetic energy. So I've put down number one, M for motion, kinetic energy. Then it drops from one ram to another. As soon as it drops off something, gravity is engaged. So it ends up having a potential energy to start a new run again. So that motion energy is going into gravitational potential energy. Now once it drops it starts rolling down again and all of that gravitational potential energy is transferred into motion again. So number three is motion kinetic energy. Now you have to do this for every different type of transfer that you see in here. It's not going to be easy. The more ramps and changes that you have, the harder this will be. But I just want you to do a basic energy chain like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. As best as you can to identify these transfers and transformations. This part of the assignment has to be done individually from your friends and the people in your group. You need to show us what you can actually do on your own.